Okay, what is your full name? Uh, my name is Lavina Kamatro. You can call me Lavina. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Karnal, a uh, district in Haryana. The CM of Haryana is also from Karnal. It is also known as CM City. Where do you live? Uh, currently, I'm living in Karnal only with my parents. Yeah, here you can even talk about your place also. And I live in a, an apartment. I live in a house. It is kind of where do you live exactly? After okay. city, you can talk about the place also. Do you like to keep flowers at home? Uh, yes, uh, I actually love uh, love flowers to keep it at home. We usually buy flowers on several occasions during any religious uh, religious puja at my home or some uh, some wedding function. So I try to keep them at home as much as I can because it provides a beauty to that place as well as the aura of the flowers are uh, the uh, aura of the flowers are very beautiful. Aura is not aura. Aura is. Yes, aura. Have you ever seen wildlife up close? Um, no, I had once a visit to Jim Corbett, uh, which mm. uh, which is about the wildlife. Uh, but uh, and I took the jungle safari to see the wildlife. But unfortunately, I was not able to uh, take any close up view and not able to see any lion or tiger there. So I haven't really seen that. Okay. Where in your country can a person see wildlife? Uh, there are plenty of places uh, where you can see uh, wildlife. Uh, many national parks are there. And uh, if we'll talk about the mountains, uh, and especially in the north region, uh, in Himachal Pradesh, uh, we can see uh, some of the wild animals there. And in Madhya Pradesh as well, there are uh, various uh, national parks and the uh, corbids. Okay. Why do you have to go to these places in particular to see wildlife? Uh, because uh, the, um, in these areas, there is a dense forest and the jungle safari is also available. So you, we can go there and, uh, and see the wildlife. If you're lucky enough, we can see any uh, lion or tiger there as well in the jungle safari. Ah, okay. Which type of devices do you use mostly to perform your daily tasks? Um, I um, there are a plethora of uh, devices. I am working as a computer engineer, so a laptop is the one main um, important thing which I am using in my daily life for the office work, and then the smartphones we all have. So for uh, for what to uh, message any person and for the calling purpose, I am using smartphones. Describe an art artwork or craft activity you did at school what it was when you did it what it looked like and explain how you felt about it okay okay ma'am i'm starting yes. um it was uh i it was a few years back when i was in uh, i was in school and i i guess i was in six or seven standard there were summer holidays and uh, a camp, a summer camp was going on. So I tried to participate in that because uh, we had a plan to go on vacation at my uh, maternal home. But uh, I insisted my mother that I want to join that summer camp. Uh, my mother, firstly, my mother was not interested. Then I was pretty much interested in art and craft. So she allowed me to uh, join the summer camp for one week. I there joined art and craft activity and uh, there were many things uh, which they were they were they teached us at that time. I made a teddy bear. Uh, I made a teddy bear there, and they uh, they taught us from the scratch how we cut the fur uh, the fur from which the teddy makes and uh, how we put in the cotton in the teddy bear and how we sew that teddy bear. So it was a very interesting thing. It took me four days to uh, complete that teddy bear, and ultimately when uh, it get completed, it was. Uh, it was very, uh, it was very beautiful. I took the uh, light sky blue color and the black eyes were looking very beautiful on the uh, on it. When after four days, when I showed this to my mother and father, they were very happy and uh, I I made it myself uh, from start uh, from the scratch. So they were very happy and uh, they were also proud that at such young age I I uh, I made this and uh, until today I have this. 
a teddy bear and teddy bear with me and the, my parents uh, when we were talking about uh, when we were talking about uh, childhood my mother still shows to my some of friends and relatives that i have made this teddy bear when i was that uh, and then when i was in the school time so yes it makes me very happy and i am still continuing with my craft work because it makes me happy from the inside so that was the one activity which i remember from very my nice. school time very good very good lavina what kind of handmade items can we see in your country um there are plethora of handmade items it can be from the carpets which we seen in the our, seen our, in our drawing rooms and the paintings all these things are handmade and, and even the furniture uh, furniture is also the handmade from the carpenters are made so there are many things uh, there are almost i'll say 70% of the things are handmade in our my country what kind of handmade gifts do people make in your country um people uh, people usually make um greeting cards uh, for their friends and the family because it uh, shows the affection affection and the care for towards that person so this is the one thing which uh, i i am making and i made uh, from my childhood uh, till date so that is the one thing which we usually made for the people okay why do you think people like handmade gifts uh, as i previously mentioned it shows affection and care it, it's a gesture of love that we are doing so putting so much effort to for the gift so uh, when you present some uh, present that gift to somebody uh, you love or some for someone so it it shows that you care for that person and you are putting so much effort for them where would you find hand crafts or handmade art um we usually find it uh, nowadays we, uh, we can find it anywhere in any store in, in the market but yes when there is some there are many craft villas are organized by the government so there are variety of um, artists uh, artists are there and the, uh, a variety of things are there but uh, and the one more thing no, not, sorry this was that you said mela prefer like fair exhibitions so, fair exhibitions, they organize yes, fair. okay yes so don't say mela and all yeah if you you know you know that you have nothing to say more you can stop okay not in between yes. where would you find handicrafts or handmade article uh, we uh, we usually find it uh, nowadays we can find it anywhere in the market because there are many stalls but uh, the fairs or the exhibition organized by some uh, some uh, corporations and the uh, uh, some corporation and the government there are uh, variety uh, there are a lot of variety so we can get it easily from there Why do you think tourism is important for handicraft businesses? Uh, uh, it is uh, very important because if I talk about uh, the state which I am living in, Haryana, if there is no tourism, then the people uh, people will not uh, people will not appreciate the things which they made because the local peoples are ma- uh, doing this and they, they are just. like that okay we made this but the when the tourism will come they will appreciate and buy these things and it will also boost the economy of that state and particular that place so that is why tourism very important why do tourists buy local handicraft items uh tourists buy uh, local handicraft to uh, gift some uh, to gift someone uh, that item when they they take it as a memory that they visited that place so they usually buy these things and uh, if they want to give to some relative or friend that they visited that uh, that place and bought something from there for us okay yeah as a souvenir they generally take it with them should the government do more to promote these arts mm, yes definitely government should organize some a uh, more exhibitions uh, so that the artists uh, will get encouraged and uh, also their economy will uh, the they can earn more money and their economy will also increase so yes government should uh, do more such things economy yeah all right okay this is the end of your session for all it was good 7 7 to 7.5 okay